When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam returned from the cave of Hira, he told his wife Khadija, "An angel came to me. He taught me the verses from the Quran. He told me that I am the messenger of Allah." Khadija said to the Prophet, "You are good and honest. Allah has made you His prophet," and she became the first person to accept Islam. There was a little boy living with the Prophet. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Khadija. He was about ten years old, and his name was Ali. His father Abu Talib was the Prophet's uncle. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam received the revelation from Allah, he told Khadija about it. Immediately, she became a Muslim. When Ali became came to know. What had happened in the cave of Hira? He also accepted Islam. One day, Abu Talib asked Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Nephew, what is this religion you practice?" Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Uncle, this is the religion of Allah. This is the religion of His angels and His messengers. The religion of our father Abraham." Then Abu Talib asked his son Ali. Son, what is this religion of yours? Ali said, "I believe in Allah and the Messenger of Allah. I say what the Messenger says is true. I pray to Allah with him and follow him." Abu Talib did not accept Islam, but he supported Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam against his enemies as long as he lived. After Khadija and Ali, more people accepted Islam. Among them, the first was Zaid, a free slave of the Prophet. After that, Abu Bakr became a Muslim too. Abu Abu Bakr was a well-known person. When he became a Muslim, he told every person he met about Allah. He wanted everybody to believe in Allah. Many people accepted Islam after hearing Abu Bakr speak about Allah. Slowly the news spread. A time came when Allah said, "Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, speak loudly and open, openly about the truth." The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam listened to Allah's word, and he began to tr- preach the truth.